Hello everyone, it's Jess Hearts. Okay, I just want to start out by saying my dumb bum self here obviously deleted or forgot to record the first part of the building process. <sighs> but I did a little overview for you right now and a sky high view. So you have an idea for those on either like consoles, you know, when you don't have the gallery. So yeah, you get the proper layout. Anyway, so as you can tell today we're building a huge celebrity mansion estate thingy it has like a tennis court and I will so quickly say I had so much fun making that I've been known to play a little tennis in my years I've sucked but you know good fun <laughs> there's also a basketball court a front and back courtyard with a pool and a hot tub at the front there's a clubhouse slash guest house and I've never built one of those before and it was really fun the exterior was based off a mansion I found on Zillow, which if you don't know is like a real estate site for the US. You can find um, really cool houses on there if you ever need inspiration. The, the interior of this house was just me struggling. Like I used some reference, but I just gave up. Oh yeah, when I was, um, when I got to the second story of the house, I ran out of storage on my computer. Like it's a great computer, but it lacks storage. So that part of the recording ran out. So that part was annoying, but I do show you those rooms in the photos and I do a little tour in the video. I just do the second floor landing, study and a bedroom, so you don't miss much. There's nothing interesting there, to be honest. <laughs> oh yes, thank you guys so much for the warm reception for the Daria video. It's awesome to see how much the TV show has touched you guys and stuff. It's, it is honestly a wicked show. I recommend everyone watches it. I finished the whole series last night, and, like the movies and everything, and I got a little sad. It was such a good ending, but it hit me a bit, I won't lie. Um, I did find online though, there's like a few series, like fan fictions that I could read and I started reading one. It's actually pretty good. So I'm thinking about going and reading those. And like, I remember going off to college and it's definitely a period of adjustment. I didn't like stay in a dorm or anything. It's different to places like the US, but I'm not completely sure about the whole system over there. Isn't there like four years of college? It's confusing. I don't know. Let me know what the dealio is. Okay. So what we're doing now, um, yeah, I wanted to use those arcways again for uh, this build that I like I did in my Mediterranean speed build. Um, you don't, re you can't really tell. You could probably do the same thing with columns, but you know, I wanted to try out using those again. So yeah, I used those and just doing the basic layout of the outside and interior soon. I think. Yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah, sorry about the day late this week for each video. As you can tell, I've been a little bit more experimental uh, with my exper uh, with my editing and I guess just being my weird self. So trying to do everything all in one day when I have to do a load of other stuff IRL can be a little bit stressful. Personally, I'm just glad I've managed making two videos a week recently. I, stuck I suck at sticking to things, so I'm glad I'm doing this. Like I keep when I was young, I'd quit things. Like, I wouldn't keep going. But I'm glad I'm finally doing that now. I've, I'm stucking with things. It's good. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry if the editing of this video isn't great, though. My dog isn't a lap dog, usually. But she has been so dang clingy today. Every time I go back to editing, she ends up crawling over and putting her paw on me and asking for love. So I ended up putting her on my lap. And, like putting my arms over her and editing over her. As some of you may know, my lifelong family cat passed away, sadly, a little while ago. So I think my poor Polly, which is my dog's name, by the way, is a little bit lonely. So hopefully getting a little puppy will help her feel better. We hope she likes, uh, we hope she kind of like adopts a puppy as her own. She's never had a litter, so it should be interesting. Either way, she won't be as alone and she's a very affectionate dog, so it should be all right. If you guys have any tips for me, that would be really appreciated because I'm worried about my little fluff nugget. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I was going to bring this up. I've written it down. I was watching Plumbella and she was talking about how we should be patient with EA and when it comes to waiting for packs and I couldn't agree more. They're doing the best they can and like having some members of the community get angry at them for taking a while is so unfair, but it reminded me, I play Murder in the Alps. Uh, you guys might have heard of it. It's like a murder mystery hidden object game on the mobile, on mobile, and I finished it, so, you know, I have to wait for the next episode. And, you know, there's lots of writing, game designing, art designing, everything like that. And I like the Facebook page so I could get notified if they uploaded a new episode. And every post they make that isn't about a new episode, 
um, the community just rages, like swearing and threats of violence, like people saying how they're sick of waiting and how crap it is. And I'm like, whoa, you guys are so rude. You know, like don't bite the hand that feeds you. They had no empathy when it came to the developers at all. Thank you, uh, like no thank yous or anything. So damn disrespectful. I actually got a bit turnt and I commented that they needed to build a bridge and get over it. It was like mainly middle-aged women and men. Just damn. I guess we like. I guess we see this kind of thing everywhere, though. I like people getting angry at YouTubers who haven't uploaded in a week or something because, um. But and before I started doing YouTube, I didn't think about how much goes into it, and I can promise you, it is a lot. It's fun as heck, of course, but it is still a lot of work. Um, I don't do a heap of work, I guess, but I kind of do. I don't know. Not as much as a lot of other people do. I know those comments really surprise me. We are so lucky to have a great community in a, in a EA, wow, <laughs> EA and people who just play the game. Go us. <laughs> um, yeah, so th I put this little dining area outside and just doing the basic layout of everything outside. I didn't I did the outside before everything else, which I don't usually do. I kind of leave the outside to the end of the, of the building process, and I kind of hate that part to be honest. So I just put it at the beginning, and it kind of made it a lot better than usual. I kind of get a little bit lazy with the exterior, so I think I did a better job this time. No, I I know I did a better job this time. Tennis courts and basketball courts and pools. Yes, lots better. Lot lot better. Yes. <laughs> I actually love this house. I've spoken about how I couldn't live in a mansion before. I like my A-frame homes out in the woods, living off the land. But, you know, I, I could live here. <laughs> Especially if I had myself a massive family. Well, like four kids, I think. And that isn't many. I don't know. I'm not a mum. But, yeah, I'm quite proud of this mansion. I've probably forgotten something. And, yeah, I... Yeah, I did. I just remembered. I didn't put an outside bin in. I don't think I put it in a mailbox either. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, this video is uh, heavily edited too, by the way. It's a huge mansion, as you can see, so there's a lot to do and edit. I actually love editing, though. At first, I found it fun to just cut and speed up parts, but now with the experimenting and stuff, it's even more fun. I haven't seen people do that with speed builds before, and I find it just really, I don't know, it, it tickles my creative side. I don't know. It can be a bit tedious editing at times. On one of my previous speed builds, I edited in a wand and uh, some lightning and I got so bloody mad because I was taking ages or it was taking ages to render every time I moved the lightning. So I just gave up and did the best I could. It looks good in um, in that. It looks good in that I can't edit for crap kind of way. Ugh, anyway, what's everyone up to this weekend? I've been invited to another birthday moving out party. I am so tired. I swear every other weekend someone has a birthday party. It's insane. I am looking forward to it though. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of happy birthdays. Happy birthday to my best friend. You're old now, mate. <laughs> Love you, dude. Yeah, it's been like three of my mate's birthdays and my mum's. I'm going to go broke by getting people gifts, man. It's insane. I don't know if other people are like this, but I'm very I'm very good at planning presents for people, I think. I like to think I'm a good gift giver. <laughs> my, my boyfriend is a self-professed bad gift giver, and I will say that he is not. He is a very good gift giver. But, like, whenever I think of something to get someone, I write it down on my phone, notes or something. I don't know if that's weird. I just do it. And, like, it's a hella good feeling giving someone, like, a Prezi or something you put thought into and them getting all happy. It's a really nice feeling. Oh, yeah, um, we're nearly at 300 subs. So that's pretty dang cool. It's so nice to see how my content is actually liked. Like, in a way, it's weird because you spend all this time creating something and then talking into a microphone like now and then just sending it out into the void and then waiting. It's very daunting, but everyone has been so sweet and thank you guys. Yeah, no, I remember people saying how natural it was for me to talk into the microphone and I guess so. I've never done this kind of thing before, but I will say if I ever do a face reveal, which I more than likely will, that's probably when you will notice how awkward I am. <laughs> I, th I think I'm awkward. My friends say that I'm pretty, like, I don't know, outgoing, but I I don't know. I think that's like a smokescreen. I am, I am more of a kind of... I'd rather stay at home and do my own thing kind of girl or like I'd much rather stay at home and play the sims but I still love seeing my friends and stuff I think it's also just general laziness that keeps me this way oh well one day I'll do a face reveal but I don't know when 
I don't know. I, I took a really nice photo the other day and my boyfriend and I were just like, maybe you should use that photo. And then I was like, mm, maybe, but I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it. But yeah. Um, yeah, so finally at the dining room. I really like this dining room. I'm not very, I don't know. I wanted to make it a proper grand one. And I do put a little um, like breakfast nook on the right there. Oh, it's hard to tell what orientation this is at. And, like, a little seating area there that you'll see in a minute. Um, yeah, no, I really like this uh, dining room. Like I was saying earlier as well, um, the house is on Zillow. And you can go look at it if you want. I obviously edit it um, a bit in game, but it's called 205 Silver T Pen Hook <laughs> or something. You can tell me where I could have improved. It's such a cool house. The interior is like very brown and it looks like there's a lot of marble and leathers. It's really cool. And I don't know if an actual celebrity lived there or anything, but I built it, uh, built this and I just imagine like a celebrity family would live here maybe. Do you guys imagine who you're building for or, you know, if you build in The Sims? I never used to, but now I find it helps me when I'm building. Maybe try that when you're building, it might help you. Also, just overall, let me know if you think this bill went, or how this bill went. I don't, uh, oh, and don't forget to enter my, um, build challenge. Just search hashtag Jess Hearts build challenge in the gallery, download the shell, and you can delete anything that is already there. Uh, no, sorry, you can't delete anything that's already there. My brain, man, today is not good. <laughs> but you can add anything at all, like full walls, half walls, pools, terrain, everything. Just go wild. Um, upload it with the same hashtag. I really want to see some unique builds. I've seen some screenshots already on Twitter and I got so dang excited seeing them all. They look wonderful as heck so far. I'm keen to see what people else have done. Uh, keen to see what everyone else has done. So yeah, get building guys. Entries till the 27th of May, so like two weeks maybe. I don't know. I'm really bad at time. I'll be reviewing them all in a video. Anyhow, back to the build. Uh, yeah, we have this girl's, I guess like, yeah, a girl's bedroom generically, stereotypically girl's bedroom I don't know I don't really like this room maybe it's just see I love the color pink but I just don't like those colors of pink maybe it... I like pink as an accent color not an overall theme yes that's probably what I was thinking of <laughs> also I've been um, asked about how long these builds usually take and sometimes they can take like two-ish hours but this one I think it took around like six sometimes I sketch the builds before I build them and it helps me a lot so I wasn't happy with the townhouse I did last week right and I felt like doing something else so I built this it took a while to get inspired so I found um, a good reference online like I said Zillow then I sketched out and planned a layout because it it wasn't available on the website then I just built it I guess um can be a little bit tricky making a real life house in the sims because they always end up being a lot bigger than what it actually is like i made my house ages ago and it looks huge in the sims but not irl it's not that big at all we just have a big garden um i might build my house again and turn it into a video but it would be a long video and kind of it's kind of a weird house too my house is like a mix match all th all through it and it's like super old house, but my mum's renovated some of the rooms with my parents. Uh, so it looks really new and like kind of modern. And my parents' room is very modern and the the kitchen is like something out of the 60s. It's got like lime green countertops. It had this wallpaper that had food on it. Like it had weird food print. It had like lobster thermidor, spaghetti, soups. It, it was painfully, painfully retro. But my mum has also hung up like five different clocks on the wall. I don't know why. It looks quirky and kind of cute. It reminds me of something Molly Weasley would do from Harry Potter. Um, but we have a chicken coop as well. Yes, we have chickens. They are adorable. So I really want to try and replicate one of those in The Sims. I know there's like CC for it, but I want to try and make it in the game just as a little challenge for me. But yeah, let me know, um, guys, if you want to see me build that. I'd be your down. Um, yeah, here we have the guest house, uh, the downstairs bar area. I guess, you know, you'd have all the, like, people here over for maybe a tennis, ma tennis match, like, pre-game juice drinks, I guess, maybe. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a good idea when you're playing tennis. It actually does sound like a fun idea, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something else um, I wanted to talk about was, I posted this on Twitter, Twitter and I'll read this to you now. With how I word this, don't think I'm putting down anyone, but 
I think we need more disabilities or ways of life in The Sims. Obviously wheelchairs have been spoken about, but what about people with walking frames, amputees, and people with dwarfism? They exist too. And then I put a little heart and I added The Sims. And I got a lot of good responses. No one's saying that those things shouldn't be in. But I just thought about it the other day, like, I know it would probably be super difficult to implement this in The Sims for now, but maybe in The Sims 5, I think that would be a cool thing to do. Plus people with wheelchairs, walking frames, or amputees, like, it would be probably possible in The Sims 4, but maybe not, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. See how it goes. I know they've talked about it, and I'm really hopeful. Anyway, I didn't, I got kind of sad thinking about it, but not really that sad. Anyway. I'm speaking about though how I am I am very tired right now so sorry if I'm like jittery and weird after recording this I'm gonna edit and then go eat some pizza with my boyfriend and make him watch grand designs with me what are you guys' plans uh, well yes here we have the screenshots and as you can see a lot of time and effort went into this <laughs> a lot of tiredness I think um Actually, no, not that long. I don't know, six hours isn't that long. I'm not even sure if that was the right amount of time. But, yeah, I'm very proud of this. So, I guess more love went in than time. But, yeah, I hope you guys like this too. I love that little chain uh, set that I did there. I don't know if it looks particularly good, but you get the idea. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. So, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Tick that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!